Okay, so basically USGS took uh, five points off. I think I had it marked at 7.3. And basically we'll go way out on this. I don't know if this is a new map, a uh, new deal that they've got on him. Pretty much even though you know where Columbia is at, I do. And that's why I'm going to it. And we'll be able to see the fault lines that are around there. So it'd be interesting. It's happened on the coast. It wasn't an old fault line here. So basically, probably a fault line there. But the idea is not one of the ones under the water that we know of the ocean. Okay, so let's go see what we got for tsunami information. Because when I go to RSOE and I try to hit the details, it does not come up. So basically, we'll go to the tsunami information that we have here and see what we got for an alert that they had. And basically, affected region, they listed everything. Well, that's in the past seven days. So basically, we'll take a look at this one here. The details on this one. So basically, there's been a lot of tsunami action that's been listed lately. So there you go. Okay. So let's see what we did for this one here since this would have been the biggest quake. And all of a sudden, it's tsunami per this week, too. So, statement, this statement is for information only, no action required. An earthquake has occurred with the preliminary parameters and evaluation based on all available data. Destructive Pacific Wide Tsunami is not expected and there is no tsunami threat to Hawaii. Repeat, destructive Pacific Wide Tsunami is not affected, expected and there is new tsunami, no tsunami threat to Hawaii. This event, unless additional, are received. So basically, we want to start making a little bit of uh, flame under RSOE to be the idea that why is it not reporting the data, okay? Because it makes people nervous. So anyway, there's your information on it and the idea that we did show you on the other one previously in my video that it was a 7.8. Now remember folks, we already know not to trust the numbers, but make sure you go back and watch all these videos from this weekend because there's a lot of information for you from Friday through to whatever I do on Monday. Okay, so go watch all these videos. And basically, I got a video uploading now and before this one. Now, we got the latest uh, meteor shower. And remember, we're starting into it now because it's fall solstice. And basically, there's one over here to the right that was the same one on the other shot there. And we'll go in and I'll crunch and see what we have for the closest, closest objects out of the meteor showers to us here on Earth. Okay? So, these plots are... Thanks needs to go out, Ontario Meteor Physics Group. And we're getting a dramatic show right now. And also, remember all these. And there is a good chance that we may have the meatball giving us a shadow right now because the idea that the sun doesn't give us that kind of a shadow just all by itself. There's always all kinds of layers that you're seeing. So let's check this out. We'll blow these up. And first off, I'll get to the data. Now it's important to go watch this because, and like I said, in all those other videos too, because I got a lot of data in there for you. So let's go in here and I'm pretty sure, there we go. Now, the last couple of days I've been seeing everything at around three point something AU to four something AU, okay? So still the sun's distance plus two more sun's distance is away and plus a little bit farther but very bright let's go sec uh and this was the big one and remember this is in the daylight sky too ladies and gentlemen so i go to 265 very interesting comment and as we say basically more than likely whatever it is up by the sun or we're just getting the sun's shadow which we really shouldn't be here on earth as you can see that and we also asteroid belts that basically they've said is a long ways away from us. But we uh, can see them very easily, can we not? All right. So that was the data on the length of that one away from Earth. And right now, I just did not get what I wanted. But there you go. Blew that up at 265. And there's some shots they didn't let us see, as you see, because there's a shot at the top of the box. And we'll go see what the characteristics on all these. Now remember, we were warning you about this. And we've been seeing this sea action, okay? And let's check the auroras from Norway here, okay? 
Mr. Mortensen, we appreciate it. And then when they, someone caught the, was lucky enough to uh, go outside and catch ATV3 in front of uh, ISS. Pretty much same path. Okay, and then we're going to go down to the, what I told you about these large objects now. Remember how RSOE watched my last video? And you will see how RSOE is not really letting you see these large items coming by that are also going to be hauling ass that I told you about. And the October the 4th one is the one that's the most important because this thing's hauling ass. Okay, and these are bigger too. But not hauling ass as fast as this one here. Alright. Now I'll pop back to the Asgard object. But there you go. That one there was way the hell out. But what's impressive, it shows up down here on Earth. You can see it in the nighttime sky, but that damn far IU out, which is a hell of far out, is 21 IU. Okay? 0 0.065. So this is the shortest IU that I've seen in quite a while. Check out this object. Because it's only 1.505, so basically just a little bit farther out than the sun. And that's our object there and there. And... Let's go see the next object. And there's a lot of objects, folks. So it's pretty impressive just to begin the... And remember, this is daytime. This is the 30th. I don't know if I'll we'll have time to go by tomorrow night. And basically, there's your your object. Okay. And should be that again there. And let's get up here. And like I say, there's as you can see, there are photos that aren't being shown. As you see, the boxes. So they kind of probably much picked out the big, best ones you can get a picture of. And there you go, this one here is only at a half IU. So, under a half IU is this object there. So, and remember around Thanksgiving of last year, remember they were telling us, oh, there's nothing close to, well, they knew that this was gonna be closer now. Okay, now I skipped up and missed something there, either that or when I bought back in here, because actual factual, you can also see what's in front of the sun because you get an impression here of the sun, of what we're seeing over in Hawaii here, okay? All that stuff is in front of the sun, as you can see right there, okay? That's your signature of the sun, that little pyramid or whatever, and this is all the objects between here and the sun that are getting pretty much holographed down here to Earth. So, and like I say, we're pretty much getting a shadow of whatever's behind the sun, more than likely, I presume and assume, that this is not the sun, that this is actually the meatball or meatballs because I've always said there's way more than one ring, you see? And they're always saying, oh, it's just a halo of the sun and so forth and so on. Well, it's either the objects in front of the sun or the meatball behind it. So let's see what we got for this object here, but I think I've already pulled this one up. And yeah, I did, one and a half, or maybe I didn't. It's not really important, but there's a data on it. Well, on the 29th, I'm not showing any data. On the 28th, I think, is what I was going to be looking at the night before last. When I first started looking back at it. It's going to take a second for it to load. We had four that night that I know of. One, two, three, and four. And like the data I just showed you for the 30th, there was four. Not just the three that they showed the meteor shower. We had data for four objects. So let's see what we got for data on these here. Let me blow these objects up. So here we are blown up. And this is the last object that came by. There's the third object that came by. There's the second object that came by. And basically we're looking at this here. And... That being the same object, then we move up and we'll get the first object. And we'll start with the data on the first object. Data on the first object for the evening. 12 IU out. We go back, we scoot down. You see that object again, the right hand there. There you go. Remember, if you see the times on these pictures, it's all you time. I mean, uh, sorry. All you stands for astronomical units of measurement. That's what we're looking at in these distances. But that's G. That's Zulu time, basically. And if you see GT, whatever, UTC. So there's your object. 
There's our object. And basically this came by at 312 UTC. So that's dark time here. So basically uh, Venus, I believe, is probably putting off that big of a uh, signature, okay, off of the Supergiant's glow, okay. So either that or it's the stuff that we've been seeing down at the South Pole, all right, because that should be, I believe. Let's go up and just look at the, uh, basically we should have, uh, well, I won't because this is the, the later night. Now i got to make sure I'm staying on the same object, and I believe that is. So let's get a uh, distance on this. So basically, again, since we had that one the other night again closer at four point something, this could possibly have been the same item. It would be nice to know that they say that it's actually showing up again two nights later. Maybe it was the four point something and it's getting closer to Earth, and we don't really know yet. So, yep, this here asteroid, comet, meteor was basically that item was uh, under half the distance from us from the sun, okay? The one previous. Now the third item is at 6.364, and basically I do believe I can get you dragged down to that. Should be this here and this here, okay? And also the signature of the sun because that was coming in at uh, 6:15 UTC, so the sun was in the east, okay? Should have been the sun. Either that or that might be. Uh, that could maybe be Jupiter or Venus, or maybe even Rigel. You'd have to go. I'm not worried about that too much right now. And then we got our, I think, our fourth item here. We'll go up here and get the information on that. And basically, this is the same item, same item. And let's get our orbital information. And that one was under a half IU too. So a lot of stuff close to Earth right now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, East Coast time, United States, that's pretty much, basically, since this is Zulu time, that's probably about 8.47, all right? Or actually, I apologize about you. It take eight hours off that. It's like 2.47 a.m. in the morning Eastern Standard Time when that object came by, all right? And this is the last object that we looked at on the four objects that came by on the night of... Uh, this has all been looking at the 28th, the evening of the 28th, okay? And the 27th, there was four objects. I'm pretty sure that's the stuff I looked at on Friday. And that stuff was like the closest thing was four point something IU. All right. So, or actually three point something IU is the closest thing. So, basically these are the items again as we scroll down here through them. And that was the last item there. So, it's nice showers outside, folks. We're going to have a nice fall solstice and a lot of action from those heavy objects that I showed you the data on. Massive magma magnetics coming by in space by Earth very fast. So anyway, uh, yeah, we get monitored pretty good. On, so the idea that, check this out. Uh, Chug said he's seen a nominally on. And uh, so... Try to give me as much, you know, non-bunk, and this is non-bunk, this is good stuff, uh, input that you can that is not getting posted, and try to post it. Go into my comments on my video channel and try to see if you can post it there. Try to post anything you can. They're, it's really goofy. We're, this is free speech in this country, and basically someone should do, do some lawsuits and follow these IP addresses that are basically overriding our free phone calls. Not really free. We pay for it when we pay for our subscriptions for Internet whether it's on your telephone, satellite, or cable TV, okay? So basically, someone's messing with our mail, okay, our electronic mail, and it's illegal, okay? Charges need to be done. And to make sure that, because more than likely, that's the moon disappearing, and I believe, or actually, that's wrong, because an arrow of present points north, east is counterclockwise, so east is over here on this side, so basically in the west. Uh, it still could be the moon. Yeah, it still could be the moon because you can see the moon during the daytime. So that's the moon just basically starting to come up over here on the right. It's basically this is like 3.09 Eastern time, 
because you add eight hours and it's 11.09 UTC Zulu time. So basically more than likely that's the